This is going to be a really quick video on how to take apart one of these American lock cylinders without a plug follower. Um, a lot of people think that you need one, but um, it's actually easier if you don't use a plug follower for this. Um, it's preference, of course, but this is a little faster. So, from here, once you have it out of the lock body and picked, you're going to 180 it. But, before you do that, make sure it's like this, otherwise everything's going to fall out of the bottom. So, from here, it's 180. Um, so then I'm going to put it in the vise, which has seen better days, by the way. And then, well actually, I'm going to take up the seat clip first. So, once that's off, you'll notice that the plug slides freely within the core. Okay, so, the springs and driver pins are just the right length, so when you take out the plug, everything isn't going to shoot, shoot out, but instead all the driver pins are just going to be resting on the springs. So it's literally as easy as that, and this probably won't focus, but please focus. Yeah. Okay. So you can you can kind of see all the um, driver pins just sitting there. Um, they're pretty stable right that right there, unless you make sure you don't um, shoot one. But so from there, you you can just get tweezers and take them out one by one. Um, you don't really need a plug follower for this. And the same thing goes with um, reassembling it. Instead of like having the plug follower, or well, when I reassemble a lock, I put in the plug and then put in the spring, try and like push on the pin and then slide the plug um, in before the pin shoots out. So with this, it's also easier reassembling it because the warding do it here. Yeah, so the warding is perfect for uh, holding the driver pins in place. So just like that, it, you really don't need a plug follower for the um, American locks. So. Yeah, I hope I hope that was able to teach someone something.